Hey guys, today we are going to be doing an unboxing of the IKEA Symphonics Sonos speakers. This is the bookshelf edition and I know I've said it before, I'm not good at unboxing videos but I just had to share today because the packaging actually looks quite different from a lot of the other Symphonics bookshelf speakers that I've seen on YouTube. So this packaging is a lot smaller so let's dive into this right away and see whether there are any other differences. I know unboxing only happens once, I'll capture it on video and just to share with you. I won't go through in detail, but as you know, I have quite a few other Soto speakers. I'm going to show you the picture of how it looks right now from where I'm sitting. And it is a horrendous mess now. I'm going to add this to it. Not going to be a pretty sight, but the moment I get my hands on the Sono speaker, I will dive right in and try to figure out everything that it is good for, everything that it's bad for. So watch out for the rest of the month where I will run deep dives into the Sonos Symphonist bookshelf speakers. Okay, so let's get to it right away. So here you go. This, you see, this is a much smaller box. The rest of the boxes that I've seen on the Sonos Symphonist bookshelf speakers, they are a lot taller. This looks barely bigger than a well, a rather large shoe box, but um, a lot smaller than those that I've seen online. Okay, so I see you here. And here you go. Okay, and you open it up, or it even opens like a shoe box. Okay, cardboard packaging, great. Environmentally friendly, not plastic or styrofoam. And uh, pretty sturdy cardboard here some papers so what I noticed in the older packaging for the Sonos Symphonies bookshelf there's a lot of empty space inside this one looks a lot less and okay just a piece of uh, heavy gauge paper covering the actual speaker itself so here you go this is the size okay now uh, this is the base and to note the rubber feet are only on two sides here so that you lie it horizontally here or you put it vertically so the rubber stoppers are here and if you look at the back these are the grooves for the power cable they do provide a very nice nylon covered power cable with a right angle adapter you plug it in this way and you can route the cable here or this way so you route it this way if you are mounting it against the wall the cable runs straight now if you are rough, mounting it horizontally against the wall then you rub the cable through this groove here okay other than that um very quickly oh it's a piece of paper covering the sonos ikea label which i think you can remove the grill yes you can so you can remove the grill and very rarely will you be able to see the speaker cones that are in the Sonos speakers but here you go if this is clear enough for you so this is a very small maybe a what, three inch speaker cone I think three and a half it looks really really small and with a tweeter here and a port if you're interested you can search for some teardowns I've seen some teardown videos of this guy before and the buttons volume minus volume plus and the play pause button here no touch capacitive controls and this one has no mic input it is not a smart speaker on its own it's a little bit heavier than the Sonos Play one or the ones and if you put it next to it it'll probably come up to about this height I guess about two thirds of the way through or 60% of the height um, it's a little bit narrower than the Sonos one uh, depth wise it is quite deep and there you go so if you put it on the table this is how it stands or this is how it stands just two orientations that's it okay I'm gonna put the grill back and we will yep this is the right way up there's only one way that the grill will go in what else is in the box uh, Ethernet cable this is the white one that comes with the white version and the white cable that is about it yes so this is all that is in the packaging and the manual, which we will skip for now, we are all seasoned Sonos veterans. Okay, very easy to keep, and that's it. I actually appreciate this more compact 
packaging, not much bigger than the speaker itself. The previous one was probably about the size of the box for the Sonos Symphonist Lamp, which I don't understand why it has to be that big for a speaker this size. Okay, there you go. Now, I have advised you guys before, when you buy Sonos speakers, and we find buy any wireless audio products, if they offer a configuration that allows you to pair up for a stereo image, buy two at the same go. Save yourself some time, save yourself some effort, some petrol, some transport money, buy both at the same time. Don't buy one, go back and get disappointed. Buy both at the same time. And I do live by my words. So here you go, I have the second one, which I've hidden it outside. And I thought of buying a white and a black one, but you know, the OCD in me probably just don't want that to happen. And I want to maintain the symmetry. Well, at first I thought, well, I have a black subwoofer and a white subwoofer. Maybe I'll just pair it up that way. But no, couldn't get it past myself. So I got this in white. Okay. So not much to unbox. Maybe I'll just skip the unboxing for this. And I will dive right into what is probably interesting for you. I'll just try to very quickly set up this speaker to see whether there are any issues in setting it up. I will go into detail review of this speaker over the next couple of weeks, which I will definitely keep you updated. But for today, let's just see if... Oof. Not nicely curled. Okay, let's just see if it connects properly. Power socket and here. Route it down this way. Oh, okay. There's a light that is blinking now. So if you need to see this, light is blinking, blinking, blinking. I'm going to pull up my Sonos app. Oh, now the white light blinking, the blinking white light has changed to a blinking green light here. Okay, let's see if it still detects anything. Still nothing yet. Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay. Maybe I should just try add product. Add product now. Connect your product to power. Okay, continue searching for your product. This might take a minute. Let's see. We have found one new product near you. Symphonist bookshelf. Serial number, blah, 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 blah. Set up this product. Yes, set up this product. Press and release the buttons simultaneously as shown below and listen for the chime. Let's see if you can pick up the chime. So this is the play pause button together with the plus. The chime sounds deep and bassy. Very good indication. Connecting. Please wait while the connection is completed. Oh God, I don't know how long this is going to take. So while we are waiting for it to be connected, I'm just going to talk about this Ethernet cable. Now this speaker comes with an Ethernet cable. If this performs like what any other Sonos speakers performs, it will act to create a Sonos Net network when you plug this in into any LAN port that you have in your home. So what happens is that when the Sonos Net network is created, all your Sonos traffic, all the controls, all the data, all the music data will actually be streaming within the Sonos Net, which is a completely separate network from your Wi-Fi that you have set up at home. And it's a very stable network. The reach is not too bad. It operates on 2.4G. And if you think about it, this at US $99 could be a real alternative to a Sonos Boost, the cheapest Sonos speaker today is the One SL, that's 179 US dollars, but this guy is 99 US dollars. Technically speaking, for not much more than a boost, you are actually getting the functionality of a boost, but yet it plays sound. So for those of you who don't have a LAN port which is near your speakers and you will need to buy a boost, consider this. You get a boost, it's a small device, low power device, granted, and it, is, it doesn't take up a lot of space, but for just a little bit more, just a tiny bit more. Actually, I'm not even sure if it is more. I can't recall the cost of the boost of hand, but 99 US dollars, X as a boost with this LAN cable, 
and yet it plays a sound. Think about that. Oh, okay. The bookshelf has been added. Done. Okay, so it sets up in the new room or as surround speaker for your home theater. You can set up a pair of these to act as the surround channel for any of your home theater setup, be it the arc or the beam, play bar, sound bass, play bass, sorry, or even the Sonos amp. I'm going to put it in a new room and I will call this Symphonics, Symphonics, Symphonic Bookshelf. Okay. Continue. Add another product. Uh, yes, actually, why don't we do that so that I can show you how it does the pairing. I should be quite fast at this now. I know what to expect. That's the cardboard. Paper, paper. Take this out. Put it down. Remove the tab. Take out the power cable. Put this back in. I'll dump in this Ethernet cable as well. Come on, come on, come on. How quick is that? How's my timing? Am I making good time? Hmm? Oh, okay. Oh, now I need to take this up out. Let me unwind this. Okay. Oh, God. Again. Same story, same issue. Tango, tango. You know, this is why. I want to go wireless, but unfortunately, there's no wireless power. Okay, there you go. Second pair. The first one we set up. The second one, again, white light blinking. It will change to green in a while, and then we can add a new product. Come on, green, 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 are you going to turn green? Yes, green, blinking green now, add another product, continue, search. Uh, to be fair, quite fast, okay, set up this product, press the button, there you go. The chime has been heard, move. Please wait while the connection is completed. Okay, added, next, left-right stereo pair in existing room, continue, unnamed room, uh, well, okay, unnamed room, update, ah, why did it not prompt for an update earlier, okay, now it's updating, I'm sorry I have to hold you up, but I'll try to speed this up now, go. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, thankfully I don't have to do it much. Oh, actually, it's quite fast. Now it's on the second step already. Let's hope it's not like one of those windows thing where they will speed all the way from 0 to 95 and stay there for the next one hour. But it's on the final stage now. Not so bad. Quite good. Quite fast. Finishing up. It says finishing up. Means it's finishing up. I hope it's not the windows finishing up, but the real finishing up, like Sonos finishing up, Apple finishing up. Finish up. Finish up. Now it begins to sound like a Windows finish up. Are you finishing up or are you going to finish up? You said finishing up means you're in the process of, okay, finish up. Your products are now set up and up to date. On the left speaker, press and release the button as shown. So this is just the plus button. Okay, they are now paired and some phonics bookshelf, some phonics, S U M. Hmm, maybe, did I get it wrong all the while? I'm pretty sure it's Symphonics. Symphonics. Okay, add another product? No, not now. Registering product. Ah, okay. It's this step of registering. So from the get-go, I've set these guys up to be a stereo pair. I'm just going to play a little bit of music. Ah, True Play. Uh, I don't do True Play. I don't want to do True Play now. Skip for now. Set up complete. So it is done, and let's see, where is it here? Symphonics Bookshelf. I am not happy with it being called Symphonics. I'm sorry. Just give me one minute, I'll change it. Why is it Symphonics? God. Did I mistype that earlier? Maybe I did. So it could be me. I'm sorry. I'll see the video later. 
<laughs> symphonics. Symphonics left, symphonics right. That's that sounds correct. Okay. Now let's play a bit of music. See what comes out. Showroom series. <laughs> Okay, there is some thumb to the bass, but it is not a deep thumb. By year, I would say that it will sit somewhere, well, naturally close to a Sonos 1, but these being ported probably has a little bit more bass emphasis. Now, in my next video, I will compare these guys with the Sonos Play 1, the Play 3s, and maybe the 5s, depending on which one you are interested in. So, drop a comment in the comment section below let me know what you want to hear this against and i will be evaluating these guys in closer scrutiny over the next couple of weeks so i'll see you around in my next video